The Adventures of Tintin by Hergé, dramatized by Simon Eastwood. Two, The Prisoners of the Sun. To the editor from Tintin, famous boy reporter. Subject, The Bracelet of Raskar Kapark. Professor Calculus had been kidnapped because he had unwittingly taken the sacred bracelet of the Inca Mummy. Captain Haddock, Snowy and myself were now hot on their heels as we flew to Kiowa in Peru to meet the Chief Inspector of Police and ensure the safe return of Professor Calculus. So, as I understand it, gentlemen, your friend has been kidnapped and you have good reason to believe he's aboard the Pachaca Mac, which today arrived in Kiowa, am I right? Absolutely, Inspector. Excuse me. Hello? Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I, I, I've been informed, informed um, that the patch comeback is flying the yellow flag and the blue pennant. Typhoon's infectious disease aboard. Two cases of yellow fever, to be precise. The Pachacamac is anchored some way off shore. The, the doctor has ordered three weeks of quarantine. I am terribly sorry. Three weeks? This is ridiculous. Hardly a surprise. Naturally, when the quarantine is elapsed, we will search the ship from top to bottom. Oh, In the meantime, well. you will have to be patient. It certainly seems that way. Uh, tell me, Inspector. The doctor who ordered the quarantine, well, what nationality was he? Uh, uh, Quechua. Indian, as a matter of fact. Quechua? Really? Mm, oh, well, three weeks in the sun. Mm, do they do bones in Peru, I wonder? Three weeks! Three weeks! Without knowing whether calculus is even aboard the blistering bathtub. There's no question of waiting three weeks. We're going to find out tonight. Tonight? What do you mean, tonight? Tonight, I shall go aboard the Pachacamac. What about the yellow fever, stupid? Have you forgotten? Captain, I'll bet anything you like that every man aboard the Pachacamac is as fit as you and me. But thundering typhoons, the doctor definitely the said... The doctor is a Quechua Indian, Captain. So is Chiquito. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Stop rowing, Captain. We won't go any further. The crew might see us. Now, you're quite sure about swimming the rest of the way, are you? There are sharks around here. Nuts for the sharks. Oh. Anyway, they should be fast asleep at this hour like everyone else. Oh, good. Does that mean I can nod off? Snowy, keep your eyes open and your nose alert. <laughs> Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, boy. Be a good boy, Snowy. Oh, I wasn't thinking of having a party. Thundering typhoons, there's no stopping. Oh. Oh, the anchor. And over the side. Oh. Now comes the most difficult part. Finding the professor without being seen. So far, so good. Hmm. Yellow fever, eh? Sounds as if they're having a party. Well, this is where the cabins must be, but which one is calculus in? <gasps> oh, crumbs, someone's coming. Oh, they've heard me. Nothing for it. Into the cabin. No, it's not. Oh, they think it's a cat. Buenas noches. And they've gone. <gasps> oh, someone's in the bunk. I must get out of here. Excuse me, a little further to the west. There's only one person in the world who talks like that, and that is Cuthbert Calculus. A bus? No, no, I keep telling you a train is much quicker. Oh, Professor! <laughs> Professor? Wake up! He's obviously been drugged. Oh, hello. Bracelet from the mummy. See si. what? The bracelet of Raskar Kapa. Oh, Chiquito. See, si, Chiquito. And you did not hear me enter. Careless. Now don't move, or I shoot. What do you want with poor Calculus? He has committed sacrilege. He has put on the Inca bracelet. He must die. As for you. I will decide later if your fate should be worse than his. Alonso! Now while his head's turned. Alonso! Ah! Chiquito! Oh, Chiquito! Oh, 
I'm no! the crew. I've got to get out of here. The nice girls. Love was very love. All the nice Thundery dice! Boo! Those Pano gathers up murdering tickets! Oh, oh, silly trout, he's lost one of his oars! Of course! <laughs> Come on, you dick of rabbits! You shut up, you sea lion, you! Din, 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 din! You made it! Are you not hurt, are you? No, not a scratch, but let's get out of here fast. Right. I think you're all in. Right. right. The captain's on board, Captain. I saw him. They're going to put him to death. Do what? When we get to the shore, dash back to town and alert the police. I'll stay on the beach and keep an eye on them. Do what I said. Keep well hidden. They won't hesitate to kill you off now. No. Hello. Police here. Hello. This is an emergency. Wake up the chief inspector. Now, what do you want to talk to the senior chief inspector? Yes. At this hour, are yes. you going crazy? The no, I am. Chief inspector is asleep. But, but you must. The mystery blundering bird brain is. Captain, over here. Continue. Where are the reinforcements? They're not coming. Oh, no. I'll explain later. Any news on calculus? Well, shortly after you left, they brought him ashore. Oh. I overheard them say they were heading for the station to buy tickets for Jaga. Jaga? Now, the train would have left by now, but we can get the next one. Captain, we've no time to lose. Right. Well, Snowy old boy, we're on our way to Jaga. How will we find Professor Calculus when we get there? Hmm, I know. It'll be a right saga in Jaga. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing. Here we are in the rear carriage and not a soul in sight. Yet, when we left the station, the platform was packed. Strange. Mm. I see. In this travel guide here, it says on this line the train climbs to 15,865 feet. Highest railway in the world. Oh, no surprise. My ears are going funny. Hello? We're slowing down. Expect we're coming to a station. Let's have a look. Great snakes! Captain, get out quick! The coupling is broken and our coach is running away! Blitzkrieg barnacles! What the... No time for talk, Captain! What? Quick, out the door, jump! Thundering time for... Now! You're on Come on now, Snowy, it's our turn! Don't be afraid! As a pet, I demand the right to be left at home in future! Come on, Snowy, good boy! Ready? <laughs> That's if I have a future! Oh, God, the summer, we can't possibly jump! Right, Snowy, are you ready? What, for extinction? You, you wouldn't treat a dog like this! A viaduct! A river! Snowy, this is it! It's our last chance! The high dive for obliteration! Oh, you can't beat an old dog future! No! Talk about being thrown in the deep end. You must have nine lives, lad. Oh, oh it's a relief, Coach. What's oh, a relief? Uh, let's see what this guano gatherer's got to say for himself. Buenos dias, senor. Have huh? you seen my coach? Big, brown, go very fast. I'll give you, Coach. We were in it. No, no, manners, Captain. It's a terrible accident. Accident? You mean attempted murder? But it's bad breaks. I'll give you bad breaks. Maybe, but we're wasting time. We must get to Jaga. Will you take us there? We arrived, senors. My apologies for the accident. Oh, yes, thank you. Seems he doesn't believe our story, Captain. Nor does anyone, including the police at Kiowa. Blistering barnacles. We're on our own now. There's only one thing to do. Split up and question some of the locals. Right. We'll meet outside the station in an hour. <laughs> Excuse me, senor, but have you seen... Oh, My good man, I don't suppose you've noticed... No, sir. A thin man with a little goatee beard? No, sir. No, 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 Carrying a pendulum. No, sir. Slightly hard of hearing. No, sir. My hearing hurts. That's the calculus. He's deaf as a doornail. No, sir. No, sir. They're the only words they know, the stubborn South American centipede. I wonder if they know anything in the Tavola. No, sir. 
Ugh. Cheers. Oh, I wonder how Tin Tin's getting on. No say, no say. That's a fat lot of good. Oh, they must know something, but they won't let on. Get off me! <laughs> <laughs> Those rogues are picking on that young orange cell. Your oranges, boy. <laughs> oh, your life. We can't just stand by. Come on, Snowy. I'll take the small one. <laughs> Get off him, you brute! <laughs> Aren't you ashamed bullying a child like that? Looking for trouble, eh? <laughs> Leave him to me, Pedro. Oh, help behind you. Oh, only one thing to do. <laughs> Grab him from behind. Snowy? Snowy, that's enough. Oh, you can't beat a good rope steak. Be off with you. Pick on people your own size in future. Well, where's that little orange cellar got to? Senor? What the? On the other side of bush, Senor. Oh, but you not look this way. Pretend to tie your shoelace. But who are you? Oh, it not matter. I know where your friend is prisoner. You buy guns and come tomorrow at sunrise to Bridge of the Inca. You understand? Bridge of the Inca. You go now. Senor! <gasps> yes? You listen to me. I see you go to help Indian boy. You are good. You are brave. You are, how about me? I... Who are you? I speak wise words. You not go in search of your friend. Otherwise, you meet many dangers. How do you know? I know, senor. You remember train that ran away? Well, how did you, you know about... You have good luck that time, but you not always have good luck. You not go. <laughs> I, I can't abandon my friend. That is very foolish choice. You still go? Then take this. Very good. Help you in danger. Oh, a talisman. Well, what do you... He's gone. You know, Snowy, things get curiouser and curiouser. Typical. <coughs> Lounging about while I do the hard work. Have I missed anything? <laughs> String barnacles. Why doesn't he show up, this guide of yours? Oh, it's only just sunrise, Captain. Perhaps he... Perhaps it's a trap. Have you thought of that, lad? Huh. Yes, of course. But we have to start trusting someone sometime. Oh, oh. I pooned my rifle! At... What happened? You pulled the trigger, Captain. Oh, marvellous. We've brought along trigger-happy haddock. It was that bird call. I'm sorry. I'm feeling a bit on edge. Well, it's lucky your rifle's pointing skywards. Psst. Oh. <laughs> Captain! Billions of blue blistering barnacles. I need a drink. You've lost your bottle. Senors, come quickly. It is me, your guide. Oh, the little orange cellar, the one I was talking about, Captain. Oh, here, there. How do you do, sir? Uh, sorry about the shooting. I was uh, trying to catch dinner. Yes. So, it was you who spoke to me yesterday? Yes, from behind bush. If Indians see me speak to you, they kill me at once. Now, you come quickly. We cross bridge. On the other side, I have llamas to carry supplies. Oh, we can't thank you enough, and we don't even know your name. Zorino, senor. Now look, Zorino, old chap. Where is our friend? He is prisoner in Temple of the Sun. Hey, what? But no one tell. Oh. All afraid. Afraid? Afraid of Inca, senor. Vengeance of Inca terrible when Indian tell white man what white man must not know. What about white dog? The Inca? The Temple of the Sun? An Inca in these days is unbelievable. White men not know, senor. Only you know. Well, thanks to you, Zarina. But aren't you afraid of the Inca too? Alone, I afraid. With you, I'm not afraid. Come, we go. We have many rivers to cross. For Zarino's sake, I tried to hide the trepidation that I felt. Our journey was to be long and arduous. Take that! Barnacles. The perils of the jungle faced at every turn. <laughs> That's got them on the run. But, senor, they were rabbits. Obstacles, both man made and from nature, were pitted against us. 
something move, I tell you. Yes, I do. Snowflakes. Ah! Come on! Have a look! Have a look! Finally, close to exhaustion, we arrived at the great waterfall of the Inca, our last obstacle before the great temple itself. Using a rope made from jungle creepers, Zarino managed to lasso one end to the other side of the waterfall. He and the captain crawled safely across. All right, team, team. Now it was my turn. Now, Snowy, get <laughs> still. How would you like to be strapped to someone's back? I feel like a rucksack. <laughs> right. Here we go. Come on, this is you can do it. It's not easy with Snowy wriggling around. Oh, let's stop playing Tarzan. Oh, <laughs> Snowy. Come on, lad. Not far now. Don't <laughs> dance in your chicken and you will be okay. <laughs> Captain, the rope's feeling slack. What's that you're saying? Captain, the rope's going. He's going to snap. I, I don't understand. Oh, sorry. Who's saying you think he's not dead? Is he, Captain? Captain! No! Captain! No. Please, no. No, possibly. Captain is gone. What am I going to do? Hello! Step on. No, no, it's in your tin tin. Captain, Serena, <laughs> here, behind the waterfall. Behind the waterfall, how can you be behind the waterfall? It's only a thin curtain of water. Climb down a little further and you'll see. I think I've made a very interesting discovery. Blistering. Barnacles a cave! It seems incredible, Captain, but I think I've stumbled upon an entrance to the Temple of the Sun. What? You have much luck on your side, Senor Tintin. But now, the spirits of the Incas are all around us. You may be right, Zarino. Look, I'd like to give you this. It was given to me back in Jaga. As you said, I have much luck on my side and, well, perhaps it might come in useful. Thank you, senor. Now, unfortunately, I lost all my ammunition in the fall. Have you any left, Captain? Uh, no. Uh, I've just got this uh, sheet of newspaper. It was wrapped up in. Well, we might as well dump our guns then. Oh, but I'll take the newspaper. Oh. We might need to light a fire, right? I suggest we go and see what's at the top of these steps. Come on, everyone. This isn't over yet. <laughs> Pachacamac, divine sun god, the seven white men who violated our sacred tombs now live and turn and sleep. The eighth man they call Calculus will be sacrificed beneath your holy rays. Then the revenge of the lost Incas will be complete! Skeletons. Looks like some sort of tomb. No, goody. I'm a real life bone haven. Oh. We can't go any further. The steps are blocked by fallen rocks. Earthquakes, senor. Very frequent in South America. Oh, what a lovely thought when we're in a tomb. Oh, mighty Pachacama! Just that we, your humble servants, are worthy to use your name in prayer! I say! Look at that slab in the wall. Perhaps it's a way in. We must try to push it over. <laughs> what a hope. Come on now. 
One, One two, two, three. three. Hey! <laughs> hold on, hold on, what's that noise? Spread it. it, it moved. Again. One, two, three. into the lion's den. Sacrilege! Seize them! Wonderful timing, boys. Seize them! <laughs> no. We will die. Oh, oh, don't cry, Zorino. We'll get out of this. We'll see. Get out. Jesus, I don't know. Thundering sea gherkins, ectoplasm! Oh, don't get into a slap, Captain. You know, what's this in my pocket? Oh, yes, the newspaper the captain's ammunition was wrapped in. Oh, that's it. Have a read. Why not put your feet up? Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, no, wait. Why, it says here that... Oh, no. But then why should that help? Unless a... No, no, that would be too much to ask. What are you babbling on about? Well, you see... You can spit it out, boy! <gasps> You come. The Inca Prince of this Hun awaits you. Strangers, those who violate the sacred temple of the Sun God will be put to death. Uh, noble Prince, we were simply looking for our friend, Professor Calculus. Your friend dared to wear the sacred bracelet of Rascal Kapach. Your friend will likewise be put to death. So no, show the Inca your talisman. I painted. What about you? It's your only chance. Just do it. Very well. Uh, did you steal that little viper? That I not steal it, noble prince. Senor Tintin, give it to me. I, I not steal. Noble Prince of the Sun, it is I who gave the sacred token to this young stranger. Uh, you, Wasgar, gave this talisman to an enemy of our race. With my own eyes, I saw him go to the defense of this boy. For that reason, I gave him the token. Did I do wrong, illustrious prince? No, Wasgar. You did nobly. But our laws are strict. Only the life of the boy will be spared. Thank you, noble prince. Oh, Tinty. Take him away. Oh. As for you two, and you, dog, you will be put to death by the rays of this sacred sun which will light the pile to which you will be bound. Oh, so now I'm going to be turned into a hot dog. <laughs> what have we got? Thank you, noble prince. It will be a great honor. What? Are you starve, raving bunkers? But, noble prince, may I ask you to grant us one favor? It is granted. I wish... Uh, we wish... To die in 18 days' time at 11 o'clock. It is my friend's birthday. No, I know it isn't. No, it. Guards, take them away! Finally, the hour of our sacrifice had arrived. We were led to the pyre on which we would be put to death and bound to poles of wood. Oh, this is it. The end of the road. Come on, Captain. How can you think that way on such a sunny day? Oh, next you'll be telling me to look on the bright side. There's Professor Calculus. What? Old Cuthbert after our long search. Oh. They're going to tie him up beside us. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Why, Captain, what a delightful <laughs> surprise. How are you? Oh, very well, thanks, as you can see. And you too, my dear Tintin. I'm so pleased to see you again. But uh, tell me, uh, what is all the performance? Where are we? With the Incas. At the pictures? Oh, good. Yeah, I quite understand. They're making a film. Some historical drama, no doubt. Who would believe they're acting? It is the art of sacrifice! Oh, crumbs. 
Supposing I'm wrong. Let the sacrifice begin! Let the High Priest of the Sun advance to the pyre! Now, Waskar, apply the globe of fire. The Sun God awaits! What's that thing is out there? That's the burning glass to set our bonfire alight. We shall have no Yes, it is bright, but sunglasses would be inappropriate. Let me go! You mustn't kill them! It's all right, Serena! Oh, Macho Kamak, God of Life! Strike now with my avenging rage! Stay! High Priest Oaska! The Sun God will not hear your prayers. O oh, magnificent Sun, if it is thy will that we should live, give us now a sign. How dare you call upon this? O oh, sublime Pachakamak, display thy power, I implore thee. If this sacrifice is not thy will, Hide thy shining face from us now! Oh, poor Tintin. He's gone off his head. Not at all. Your hat is very chic. <laughs> I thank thee, Supreme Majesty. My prayer is answered. The darkness moves across thy face. But blistering barnacles is right. Have I gone crazy, too? It's... It's magic. What's this? They look genuinely terrified. And what an idea to wait for a real eclipse. An eclipse? An eclipse? An eclipse! An eclipse, that's all it is, Captain. By Pachakamak. The sun obeys him. Quickly! Set them free! You see now, Captain? The newspaper! It, 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 it's miraculous! Yes, excellent timing and all in one take. It always pays to read the stars. I keep my word, noble strangers. You are free. Thank you, noble prince. But I have one further request. Oh, steady on, Tintin. Ooh, talk about pushing your luck. In my country, there are seven learned men who are still, I imagine, in a hypnotic sleep. I beg you to end their suffering. These men came here like hyenas, plundering our sacred treasures. They deserve the punishment I have meted out. They did not come to plunder, noble prince of the sun. But in not respecting your ancient laws, they did wrong. I implore you to forgive them, and you have my word they will not violate your tombs again. So be it. I will put an end to their torment. But for the nobility you have shown, I do this. Not for them! Before you leave, noble stranger. I, too, have a favor to ask of you. I know, noble Prince of the Sun. I swear that I will never reveal to anyone the whereabouts of the Temple of the Sun. Me, too, old soul. May my rum be Russian and my beard be barbecued if I breathe so much as a word. Me, too. I swear I will never act in another film, however glittering the contract Hollywood may offer me. You have my word. And so, with a burning desire to head for home, we bid farewell to our fiery friends. In the heat of the moment, we'd had quite a scare, but more sparks would soon be flying in the Calculus Affair. The Prisoners of the Sun starred Richard Pierce as Tintin, Andrew Sachs as Snowy, 
Lionel Jeffries as Captain Haddock, Stephen Moore as Professor Calculus, with Stephen Thorne as Huascar, Andrew Wincott as Chiquito, Charles Kay, and Neil Roberts as Zorino. The Adventures of Tintin by Hergé are dramatized by Simon Eastwood, the music is by Roger Lim, and the program produced by John York. Tune in next week, same network, same time.